Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Since I've missed all of you and we can't participate in class, the teachers and I thought it would be good to do a couple of short videos on Bible, uh, Bible verses and Bible stories. So today I want to talk to you about Pentecost. We just celebrated a glorious Easter when Jesus was raised from the dead. For 40 days after the resurrection, Jesus stayed with his apostles to teach them more about faith and their mission on earth. He told Peter, the first pope of the church, to feed my sheep. Jesus taught them to go out and teach and baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He promised he would send the Holy Spirit to help them. Jesus and God the Father sent the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. After Jesus rose up to heaven on the day of the ascension, the apostles prayed and waited with Mary, Jesus' mother. Ten days later, a strong wind suddenly swept through the house that they were in. A bright flame of fire appeared over each of them. These wonderful signs happened as the Holy Spirit, who is God, the third person of the Blessed Trinity, came into their hearts. The Holy Spirit filled them with courage and love. The people outside heard the wind and gathered to listen. Peter and the other apostles came out of the house in great excitement. They were full of joy and hope. The Holy Spirit created in them such a deep desire to carry on Jesus' work that they began preaching at once. The Holy Spirit also gave them the power to speak in a way that all people could understand them. Men, women, and children of many countries and languages discovered the good news that day for the first time. Peter called out, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, Hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth was a man sent among you by God. You know this by his miracles, his signs and wonders. God allowed him to be crucified on a cross, but now he has raised him up again. We have seen him and now from heaven, he has poured out the Holy Spirit as his father promised. On Pentecost Sunday, 3,000 people were baptized and the church was born. We do not hear a great wind or see tongues of fire, but the Holy Spirit is with us too. He came to live in us on the day that we were baptized. That is why we call ourselves temples of the Holy Spirit. We are his dwelling place. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful story today of Jesus and his apostles. So stay healthy and well and look for our next video coming soon. And until next time, take care.